Bedtime story, Genesis chapter 3. Now the snake was the most cunning of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made. The snake asked the woman, Did God really say you should not eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the snake, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it or else you will die. But the snake said to the woman, You certainly will not die. God knows well that when you eat of it, your eyes open and you will be like gods who know good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eyes, and the tree was desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of the, its fruit and ate it. And she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. When they heard the sound of the Lord God walking about in the garden at the breezy time of the day, the man and his wife hid themselves from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The Lord God then called to the man and asked him, Where are you? Adam answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Then God asked, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat? The man replied, the woman you put here with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, so I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What is this that you've done? The woman answered, The snake tricked me, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the snake, Because you've done this, cursed are you among all the animals, tame and wild. On your belly you shall crawl, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. They will strike at your head while you strike at their heel. To the woman he said, I will intensify your toil in childbearing, and pain you shall bring forth children. Yet your urge shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. To the man God said, because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bear for you, and you shall eat the grass of the field. By the sweat of your brow you shall eat bread until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. The man gave his wife the name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. The Lord God made for the man and his wife garments of skin, which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Now what if he also reaches out his hand to take fruit from the tree of life and eats of it and lives forever? The Lord God therefore banished him from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he had been taken. He expelled the man, stationing the cherub and the fiery revolving sword east of the Garden of Eden to guard the way of the tree of life. Good night, everyone. I love you.